Hello everyone. Are you trying to figure out how to add motion tracking effects to your video like the one I'm playing now? If that is what you've been trying to do, then you've come to the right place, because I'm going to show you how to do just that in CapCut. Alright, let's start off with only the downhill skiing video on the main track. So to add a motion tracking, first we will need to have a moving subject or object in the main video, preferably distinct to any other subjects or objects in that video. For this example, it will be this downhill skier. Then we will need to add another video element that will track the movement of that moving subject or object. This video element can be a text, a sticker, an image, or even a video. For this exercise, I will add a sticker of a flying bird and make it appear throughout the whole video. Now I will place the playhead at the start of the timeline and then resize and position the sticker accordingly. After that, go to the sticker's properties panel and click tracking. On the tracking tab, click motion tracking to show its options. A resizable yellow rectangle will also appear on the video player panel. Now position and resize this yellow rectangle such that the skier fits just nicely inside the rectangle. It should not be too large or too small as it may reduce the distinctiveness of the tracked object from other objects in the frame. So getting this step right is very critical to get accurate and stable tracking. After that, go back to the motion tracking options panel. You may set the direction to either forward, backward, or both, depending on where the playhead currently is located on the timeline, whether it is at the start or at the end of the flying bird clip or somewhere between the start and the end of the bird clip. This setting will tell CapCut which part of the main clip, relative from the playhead's current position, should be scanned for building the motion tracking information. If you set it to forward, CapCut will scan the main video clip from the current playhead's position onward until the end of the clip. If you set it to both, CapCut will scan the clip in both directions like this, which may include part of the video that doesn't need to be tracked. This setting will affect the scanning time especially if your video clip is very long. For this example, since I placed the playhead at the start of the bird clip, I will set the direction to forward. As for the scale, leave it on, so that the size of the bird will be dynamically scaled up or down based on the size of the skier on the frame, as he moves closer to or farther away from the camera. And finally for the distance, leave it on too, so that the distance of the bird to the skier on the frame will also be scaled up and down dynamically. Alright, it's all set. Now let's click start to begin building the motion tracking information. As you can see here on the player panel, the yellow rectangle is tracking the skier as he is moving. But wait, if you were observing the yellow rectangle carefully, it stopped tracking the skier at around the 5th second and 7 frames mark of the video. This is the kind of possible glitches or problems that you might encounter when using motion tracking in CapCut. The tool is not yet perfect but quite manageable if you are patient enough to do some trials and errors. So for this problem, I found that by configuring the yellow rectangle at the 5th second and 7 frames mark instead of at the start of the bird clip, the motion tracking worked just fine. So now I will reset the motion tracking, and then place the playhead at the 5th second and 7 frames mark of the timeline. Then I will reposition and resize the bird accordingly. After that, reposition and resize the yellow rectangle as we did earlier. Now on the tracking panel, I will set the direction to both, and then click start. Alright, now let's play the video to see the result. Alright, so that's how easy it is to add motion tracking to a video in CapCut. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.